Hello viewers, Super GT here on F1 2019 multiplayer. Let's see how much carnage, death, destruction we can carry out as a level one noob, complete beginner. Let's see how let's see how mad the F1 multiplayer is. We well, you know, it's always pretty bad. And it's day one. It's day one of a new F1 game. I'm a level one noob, surrounded by level one noobs. Let's go. Hungary, one shot qualifying. So it's typically five lap race with a one one lap qualifying, which is a, a decent length, I think. Um, first attempt and completely binned it. First attempt driving this circuit on this game. Uh, that's my excuse anyway. So 15th out of 18 on the grid. Away we go, lights out, and away we go into carnage at turn one, probably, as it is quite a sharp hairpin. Let's see what happens. Down in actually last place for a moment there. And there's the carnage, about eight car pile up. And we actually go from 18th to 7th. 11 positions gained in one corner. That's not such a bad rate of overtaking. Try and keep that up, up to P7. And six players directly ahead and quite a lot of angry players directly behind which is never a great thing to have so many people oh the Ferrari <laughs> the Ferrari just spun himself out completely and I'm up into sixth place are the omens true for Formula 1 games okay, as well will I finish in sixth place am I condemned to finish in sixth place on every game that I touch or will I be able to move up a couple of positions here? We still have, well, 4.2 laps remaining. So I'm hopeful that we can achieve something else from here. Coming into the last little sequence here. Hungary, cool little track I suppose, but it's not very easy to overtake around here in most situations. Just trying to manage the ERS, the fuel, as much as possible. Um, but it is quite tricky as a non-native F1 player to try to manage everything. So, moving up to 5th at the end of lap 2, courtesy of someone crashing somewhere. And as we come around the final corner, just beginning to kind of catch up slightly with the guys ahead, but not too much. Still out of DRS range, which is now enabled. enabled. DRS. DRS so, is now ideally you need to just get within that one second window, although the DRS zones here aren't particularly amazing. To come out of turn one, down towards turn two. We progress to lap four, and it's the same situation as you can see, sitting in fifth place. The two guys ahead have begun to fight, which is normally a pleasant sight um, for, the, for the people chasing anyway, as they're probably gonna gonna whack each other at some point. We've got two pack ahead actually. So two pack goes around the outside of M and M, and then Biggie Smalls is gonna actually join the battle behind. Um, so this is actually a four-way fight the third place at the moment the podium spot is being heavily fought for on the final lap of the race and it looks like I've got a fast player hunting me down so I've got to attack and defend at the same time with half a lap to go guy ahead all over the bumps but manages to keep it together somehow has gone through the fast sweeping or medium speed sweeping chicanes or you know, really chicanes are they corners to come through here, look at the inside, perhaps have a chance of a half lunge. He covers me off, so we wait for now. Going to look here, maybe, no, nope. just wait for the DRS zone, I think is the best option. Although he will have DRS against two pack. Eminem looking to get that uh, DRS overtake into turn one on the final lap. As we come out of the final corner to begin the final lap, DRS for the car ahead, or DRS as well. As we come down towards turn one, they're side by side. Eminem looking to take over as the best rapper of all time. And he gets the job done into turn one. Can I follow him through? Not quite. Two pack defending. And I'm not going to go for a death defying lunge into the second corner. We're going to leave it for now. Up through turn three, up towards the fast sweeping turn four. Difficult corner this. Because we now have pressure from Biggie Smalls. Coming into turn five, and there's a bit of contact. Can I take advantage? Not quite. Two pack. Just managed to manages 
to regain control of his position. Up through the chicane, a bit awkward through there, and he's got alongside as Biggie Smalls in the Ayrton Senna livery car. So he goes through. Okay, clear. So down to sixth place with only a couple of corners remaining. So it looks like I am condemned to finish in sixth place. Can I potentially just nick one more position as we come through? Contact for third place. Is the space going to open up? It is here. I'm going to go for the lunge. We might as well just do it. <laughs> two pack goes for a massive lunge. Just goes into the barrier. And I've gone up two positions up into fourth. Can I go for third? He's actually gone really wide there. Could have capitalised maybe if I got the corner right myself. But in the end, it's going to be a fourth place. Very entertaining race. Sat in fifth for most of it. Then all manner of chaos ensued on the last lap. And we have a winner. Vision 297. So... Uh, there he is, very, very happy indeed with his victory. Look at those teeth. He obviously uh, goes to an expensive dentist. But there we go, fourth place, 11 seconds off. Not a bad beginning. Started 16th on the grid as well, and actually went down to 18th momentarily. Oh, and I've been demonetized. Oh god, here we go. Baku, we all know what this means. Baku means absolute carnage. Through turn one. Proves me right. Turn two. McLaren into the wall. I'm into the, I'm into the Renault. There's about an eight car pile up. We're actually stuck on each other. I'm stuck on Lewis Hamilton here. I don't know what's going on. I think there's about four of us all connected like a human centipede. A deranged Baku human centipede. I don't know what's going on. Coming into the next corner. <laughs> which has been pushed down the escape road. <laughs> about eight of us trying to reverse out of the escape road. As we then progress round, I'm actually I'm 18th out of 18 again. A couple of other cars down the other escape road. Oh my god, front wings flying everywhere. Uh, <laughs> we've just overtaken another five cars. Up into 12. We've got a new strategy available, which is hopefully just don't get shafted a million times per lap. That's quite an ideal scenario. Quite an ideal strategy around any Baku multiplayer F1 2019 race. As this guy goes into the battery, oh my god. The amount of carnage is just absolutely unreal. Just people into walls, people spinning front wings everywhere. And I'm going to have to replace my front wing. Although to be fair, it's probably quicker just to drive and just not take the pit stop. If you lose so much time. I just love the way that they turn into the pit stop without actually turning the wheel. And then here, the line is just before that corner seat. I get a warning for crossing the pit lane line. I didn't know when it would uh, come out of the auto drive. But there you go. Lesson learned. And then we've got a Renault down the escape road. What's going on there? I think it's Daniel Ricciardo trying to reverse into Kvyat. But Kvyat wasn't there. And uh, had to serve a drive through because I jumped the start. Smashed into the back of the Renault. Destroyed my, my wing in the process. We actually had a good little battle. Even though we were pretty much at the back. Me and this Renault had a quite a good little fight. Onto the final lap, and he just overshoots completely, and I retake the position of 10 to get one point, maybe. Although we're going to the wall here, <laughs> such a clumsy overtake, Michael Schumacher at Monaco. And guess what? Um, yeah, get a penalty for that for some reason. Rage ensues, and uh, finish 10th out of 11. And yeah, this guy wins. That's not Mercedes. Somehow a Mercedes was not a winner in an F1 race. I don't know what's going on. Obviously the realism isn't quite there. But we moved to Sao Paulo somehow with no qualifying. It just went straight to the race. But whatever. Let's just let's get on with it. Starting in the middle of the pack. Probably the worst place to be. But as we come into turn one, it's actually turned out somewhat okay. At least for me. I've still got my front wing. Bit of contact there. There's a couple of Red Bull flying off to the left. A couple of cars flying off to the right. Toro Rosso kind of flying back across. <laughs> and he just gets absolutely shafted in my rear view mirror. Look at that. Gets pummeled into the wall. Does a nice little 360 no scope for good measure. Red Bull spinning round. Renault spinning round. Mobile chicane slalom through turn four. Okay, that's a good start. Keep after the Rita de Posta. Good stuff. Nice little challenges being thrown into the mixer here. As you avoid spinning cars. Now, find myself in seventh. Somehow got through the chaos, and this Williams just wants to drive at two miles an hour around every corner. Although, to be fair, that's about as fast as the Williams can go anyway, so I kind of understand that. The Hast come flying through. 
Oh my god, all over the grass, I'm all over the grass. A uh, bit of contact, a bit of uh, so a warning to cut the track. The Renault went for a move there and spun out. And uh, I find myself in, we're in our fourth place. A couple of laps later, still in fourth place, at the end of lap four. And we have one lap to go, hunting down a Salva, although we've just been overtaken by a Haas coming back through. Can we, go, can we go for the move into turn one? Not quite. The Haas looking aggressive at this late point of the race. We go to the outside, not the best place to be. I'm on the left hand side, side by side, we come down here. And when that happens, when the hand of doom gets raised, you know bad things are happening. As um, one second later, we look behind the Haas, it's just been shoved into the wall. And um, that is the wall with 360 no scopes, quite clearly. The Toro Rosso did it on that one. The Haas doing it on that five. So 360 no scopes being dished out, left, right, center. At the end of the race, I forgot to manage my fuel, and I've actually run out of fuel by this point. And alongside the two second penalty, um, I'm going to cross the line. I should have been third, really, but would have been fourth with the penalty, but went down to fifth and uh, rank up to level five. So, okay, bit of a frustrating race, but we started in mid pack. We moved to Canada in uh, the Williams again, or well, in the Williams for the first time. And let's see how this can go. Now, that was really awkward because the way it gave me control from the AI was kind of at an awkward angle. Could have done it a bit earlier to be honest but oh well so across the line we go it wasn't a good lap kind of bottled it instantly on turn two turn one and actually somehow finished seventh and we got william on pole position as well okay don't do anything reckless today just take it easy and we should have a good race okay don't do anything reckless like slam across like that guy in the ass what was going on there get a, get a collision warning I'm not sure what for we get through unscathed, lose one position from our grid slot, that's okay. Come through here. Force just spins around and I just awkwardly get tagged on the back of him. Could have really just backed out a tiny bit more, but didn't didn't react in time. And it's such an awkward crash. Such an awkward crash. So frustrating. One lap later, yellow flag, what's going on? And we've got another mobile chicane, Force India, Red Bull, Mercedes, you name it, they're there get through a couple of positions the the comeback trail begins well and truly right now lap three we've gone oh ferrari going backwards for no reason okay up into 11th place another lap later uh, end of lap four what's going on mercedes and a toro rosso and another toro rosso not much space really for me to go through gain two positions though can we go about getting one more from the toro rosso yes he just completely gives up just completely gives up. I guess there was team orders there to let me through. Let let the flying Williams get through, please. So up into eight. And on the final lap, hunting down what looks like a slow salvo, somehow wormed his way into a good position. Avoided the carnage. And I think if you can just do that on this game, if you can just avoid the chaos, um, ideally by having a good uh, qualifying, but if you can just avoid the chaos in some way, conjure up some magic then you'll probably be on for a decent result because most people will end up quitting the race normally I, I've been expecting if there's 20 people in the race you probably expect 6 or 7 of them to leave by the end <laughs> it's that the attrition rate is absolutely phenomenal if we go past the Salba and he just can't he can't reply basically so hopefully uh, here we can bring home some solid points for a Williams as our teammate actually wins the race, although the cars are all balanced uh, on, in terms of performance. Uh, so it's not really making any difference at all which car I'm driving, it just looks a bit funny. Through the Wall of Champions, uh, don't make contact with the Wall of Champions because I'm obviously not a champion, and that's it, end of the race, finishing seventh. So that was it, my first adventure of F120. Uh, so that was it, my first adventure of F1 2019 multiplayer. And you know what? I actually really enjoyed it. It's an absolute carnage fest, but, but I loved it. And a Williams winning a race, something you will never see. But there we go. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts. Have you been enjoying F1? What are your thoughts on the multiplayer? And maybe if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more of the same. And also hit that notification button if you want to know of every video that comes out. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.